What's up? This is Vince Carter. You're listening to the Three Point Conversion. Check it out. JB, what do you plan to do tonight with the minutes that uh, Gordon won't be playing? Yeah, we'll spread it around, Rick. We're going to look at a, a couple of different combinations. Uh, Cody Martin, Jalen will get in the mix, Caleb. Uh, Malik should get some more minutes tonight as well. So we'll spread the wealth around um, and let that group go at it. You had mentioned the other day that you were not – you were leaning toward playing everybody in these last two exhibitions, but you wanted to sort of keep reevaluating. How do you anticipate using these last two games? Yeah, I think the main group, you know, I'm talking the, the top 10, you know, playing a minimum of 25 minutes these next two nights. Um, could I push it a few more minutes? Uh, potentially, you know, I've got some license to push it a few more minutes. So, uh, we could see a little bit more run either tonight um, or two nights from now as far as getting the minutes up there. So, but I'd say a minimum of 25 minutes uh, for these, for the, you know, the, the top 10 guys tonight. Thanks. Yes. Nick Carboni, go ahead. Hey, JB, what's uh, this is your all's first road trip during, you know, what we're living through right now, I guess, what's different about it, what, what changes for you personally as, as opposed to what you normally do, and, and how is everybody kind of adjusting to that here early? Yeah, it's different. I mean, the, the check-in was different. The airplane felt different. My seat was different. Somebody was sitting in my seat on the plane. So uh, I lost my, my prime spot there, but that's okay. We'll, we'll deal with it. But uh, it just feels a little different. You know, we had a test this morning. These are things we got to get used to this season, and that's okay. You know, it's a different time for all of us. So we adjust, we adapt, uh, we get to play basketball tonight. There's no complaints here. Uh, I'm excited to be here to be with my team and go compete tonight. Robin. Rod. Okay. Um, okay, I guess we'll come back to you, Rod. Um, Let's go to Richard. Richard, I think you're on mute. Uh, Coach Brago, um, Richard Walker, CarolinaSportsHub.com. Obviously, uh, losing Hayward with a finger injury is a problem. What? Is, what? How do you see him being questionable for the season opener? Or where are we with that? Well, as we said yesterday, he's day to day. You know, we'll just take it day to day right now. He feels. He's very optimistic right now. We're very optimistic. Um, I don't want to speculate on opening night, uh, but we'll take it one day at a time. He's already feeling better today. Um, so, you know, that's where we're at, just day by day. Danny Thompson. JB Danny Thompson with a three point conversion. Uh, you've had a couple of days to look at the film for the first two games and you, you mentioned how much that Jalen McDaniels has put in the work and we saw it on Monday night. Did you have a good chance to see um, more of what you were looking for now that you had a couple of days to take a look at the film? Yeah, I think he's grown in a number of areas, uh, you know, especially his decision making on both ends of the floor, you know, when to be in gaps. Uh, when to switch out, uh, his pick and roll coverage on, on, on defense. I'm just seeing the game has slowed down for him is the best way I could put it to you. The game has slowed down, especially on the defensive end for him. He adds versatility to our, our defense, length, size, protects the paint, the rim. He can contest uh, out to three. So love his versatility defensively, and I saw that on film as well. Offensively, he made shots last game, and, and that's, that's a credit to him. If you remember back to last season, he also hit shots down the stretch, you know, in, in a number of those games before the, the season came to an end. So um, I believe he could be a, a three and D guy for us that can play multiple, uh, you know, forward positions. And, um, you know, he's, he's really grown, you know, right before our eyes. And a follow up to the rotation question. I know Gordon is right around six, eight, and, you know, he's one of your primary ball handlers at that size. Could we see LaMelo tonight in that same situation playing like the small forward position or, you know, I know it's positionless, but being that six, eight 
uh, playmaker next to Devontae and uh, Terry? Well, LaMelo's a playmaker no matter where he is on the floor, um, whether, you know, he's a point guard, he's a, he's a guard. I mean, he's just a playmaker for us. He's a big guard, and we like those guys that can make plays. So there's a luxury to have that size out there. I love having it with Gordon as well. But, uh, you know, we've added, you know, two elite playmakers with size, and LaMelo's one of those guys. Thanks, JB. Yep. Dan Perley, go ahead. Hey, JB, you mentioned you really were happy with the opportunity to play the Raptors because of the defense and the issues they cause. What about Orlando is a good matchup for you guys tonight as you get ready, keep tuning up for the regular season? Yeah, Orlando plays with great effort defensively. They protect the paint. Um, you know, they play a very solid defense. It's different than uh, Toronto. These guys, don't, they don't switch as much. Um, they don't turn teams over as much, but it's a solid defense. Uh, they protect the pain and you got to play with the pass, you know, but uh, it's nothing different than we saw against Toronto. You know, they, they, they rotate on the backside, they move, they protect. And uh, we got to do a great job with our spacing and our pace. You know, right now through two games, I think they had, we'd be ranked third right now in pace in the NBA. Um, I like that number, but it, you know, it doesn't mean we have to stay there. I just like the urgency we're playing with offensively. We've got to clean up the turnovers this team tonight will force us to play with the pass and we want to play with the pass. Uh, right now we're first in the league in assist percentage and tonight's no different, you know, especially against this defense, keep moving them, keep making them scramble. They're going to make multiple uh, effort plays, but let's find the best shot for us. Not on the first side. It might be the second or third side. All right, you guys, we only have time for one more question. So Rod, we'll go back to you. Thanks, Maggie. Hey, JB, with Gordon being out, how that affect you looking at your rotations and lineups? Like, will you will it give you a chance to look at different guys, different spots? How will it affect what you want to do tonight and maybe even on Saturday? Yeah, it just it opens it up for a little bit, you know, more minutes for other guys. And that's in the form of Cody Martin. Could be some Caleb Martin playing Jalen as well at that small forward position. Um, with Miles at the power forward position. I think that's, that could be a pretty unique lineup for us with Jalen and Miles out there together. So, um, and then it may, you know, bring Malik into the rotation a little bit more over these next couple nights. So um, that's the group. I just, it's just more opportunities for other guys right now. We'll take a, a look at some different lineups, but I think you could see Jalen play a little bit more of those minutes tonight uh, as well as Cody Martin.